I'm not, I'm not, I, yeah. No, man, mommy, because I'm not, I'm not, I. Lord of mercy, God, because I'm not, I'm not. Okay, I'm bored in a house and I'm in a house board. Bored. bored in a house and I'm in a house board. Bored, bored in a motherfucking house board and I'm bored in a motherfucking. This is an old, old wig from my wig company, K the Wig Plug. So I decided, you know, to spice it up a little bit and make it look like this. You'll see the ending product at the end. So first you want to section off your wig. This is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. Um, I believe it's a curly texture, Brazilian. I forgot all the details, but I'll put it at the bottom. You're going to need your BW bleaching powder, which I have right there. Some gloves and your 40 developer. So basically what you want to do is you want to put your powder inside that little pan thing that's that was easier for me put your powder inside that little pan thing i put about two full scoops oh three full scoops i put a lot of bleaching powder and then you just pour your developer in there to make like a creamy pancake consistent type of paste you'll see it i'm gonna do it right now see yeah so I just kept pouring my developer in there until I got the consistency that I wanted. And you just mix, 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 mix. So I started with the two front pieces first because I wanted the front pieces to be lighter than the back. And I know that needed more time to like, you know, process. So I started with the two front pieces. I worked it from top to bottom. I put the bleach on there and then I just slapped it and just worked all the way down. Now, look at my face, yo. I was so tight at this movie that I was watching. Anyways, you just want to comb through the hair as you're putting the bleach on it. Unfortunately, I don't use brushes, so I throw away all my brushes. I don't know why. There's something wrong with me. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come back to you guys when I get to the other side. So now I'm starting the other side. As you can see, I start to come out the hair first. And I realize you guys need to be way closer to see what I was doing. So what I do is I pull out sections of the hair I start I started at the bottom here and then I just worked my way up and just comb through it you want to make sure the bleach is catching everywhere because if you don't get the white thing on the brown thing properly it will get patchy and you don't want to walk around with no patchy wig like and you're not a patchy quilt or something like that I don't know boo. but I started working from the bottom and I worked all the way up to the top i'm really backwards guys like i'm super super backwards so yeah so you see i'm just putting the bleach anywhere i'm making sure that i get in between the creases but i don't want to hit the root because i already bleached the frontal and i don't need to over process this hair already well over process the frontal guys so yeah that's all i'm doing right here i got into everywhere every single place because you know how curly hair is mad tricky curly hair is fake curly hair is the fakest hair ever so yeah sit back and watch So after bleaching the two front pieces, I went ahead and I put it up away from the back pieces and I just went in and did a little touch up. Now the back is going to be the easiest part of them all because I am not going in and bleaching every single strand. I'm going to pull like separate strands of hair and then do the ends of the like bleach the ends of it. So here you go. See? Just one strand, bleach the end, move on. And then one strand, bleach the end, and move on. It's the most easiest way ever. I think I have a close-up in here, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And it comes out beautiful. Trust me, guys. This is the easiest way to do a quick, beautiful highlight. Okay? All right.
about to show y'all the finishing product. This is how it's gonna look after you've done bleach everything, including your little strands. And this is how it's gonna look after you wash it. Girl, do you see them highlights? Do you see the curls? Oh my gosh. This hair is like the best curly hair ever, okay? If you guys wanna order this hair, just hit me up. I will hook you up, discount everything. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wig. Yes, honey. So now I'm going for a certain style. This is how the hair look after I finish washing it, shampooing it, all that. The curls are still there, girl. Still there. So I'm going for a certain style. I want it to be straightened and curled with a curling iron. So what I have to do is I have to blow dry this curly hair. Now I'm really impatient. I'm not going to wait for it to air dry and then blow dry it. That made no sense to me. So might as well, you just blow dry it right there and then as it's like wet and it's a wet stage so right now what i'm doing is i'm just detangling the hair this is an old wig guys so it got a lot of glue particles all up in it and all that so i gotta brush all of that out okay i want to spray my heat protectant spray because once again this is curly hair and i want like when i'm ready to wet it i want it to go back curly just how it is Shout out to Kayla for my blow dryer. I love this blow dryer, guys. This is a BB blow dryer from Burlington. If you're within a Burlington, go in there and buy a blow dryer. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, you know, blow dry out the hair and then come back to you guys. So this is the hair after being blow dry, bitch. That hair looked like Lion King, Beyonce, I don't know, but that shit looks sexy, okay? It looks so sexy to me, like, I wanted to wear it just like that. So after done blow drying the hair, I put in some more heat protecting spray and this Pantene serum thing, just to make the hair a little bit more softer. And you know, this is the end product. Oh my gosh, it looks beautiful. Okay guys, day two. I just wanna show you guys, I washed my hair this morning and I wanna show you guys how like this glue is like so good. Good, 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 okay? Anyways, I'm back with y'all again. I'm about to take out this old wig and put in this new wig that we did last night. First of all, I need a little lip gloss because, you know, my lips is kind of chappy and I need a little bit more because I got big lips, honey. So, Fenty Beauty, best lip gloss of them all. Thank you, Rihanna. Need a little water because my throat was dry. So, let's get into this taking off this wig. You're going to need 91% alcohol, the best alcohol of them all, and my little spray buckle. Shout out to my mother, Karen, for that. I started off with the paper towel and I was, girl, I was, mm, mm, mm. I was scrubbing, 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 and it was not working. So I was like, listen, man, I need this wig to be off. So I'm gonna just spray it on the wig. <laughs> that was my first time ever taking off my wig and the ball cap was still like on. Fortunately, I couldn't use that ball cap, so I had to go ahead and take that ball cap off. I wanted to grease my scalp because I am trying to grow my hair and start with a whole new ball cap. So, you know, you want to put on your ball cap, cut the two sides of your ears, and start spraying your got to be glue spray. Went ahead and started cutting off my cap, and then I saw a little boo boo. You see how greasy my scalp is? <laughs> I smoked it because I was like, girl, what the hell is that? See how greasy my forehead is? That's because the grease from my hair started leaking. I don't know what happened. I put it as far back as I could, but it obviously jumped forward. It leaked. So therefore, I just continued cutting. I didn't want to start over and waste my ball cap because as you know, we are in a quarantine. Ain't no beach supply store open. So girl. Well, like, listen, we just have to work with it. I'm gonna just put alcohol on it and just, you know, take as much grease as I can off, if that makes sense, and just work what I got, honestly. So I'm gonna go ahead and you guys are gonna see how I cut off my ball cap and I'm gonna come back with what I'm putting back on the wig.
after finishing cutting off my ball cap i went ahead and took the wig off my mannequin head and now i'm just gonna place it on my head and just see like how is it looking scalpy bitch it's looking real scalpy okay scalpy scalpy dogs anyways <laughs> So I'm just measuring out my head, see where I'm going to place my glue and all that good stuff. Now, this glue right here, first of all, let me address the elephant in the room. Yes, girl, my ball cap started going back. But like I said, I was not going to change it because, girl, there's no beauty supply store like open to go buy another ball cap and i have ball caps that's gonna last me for my next five wigs that i have for the next five videos so there was no like detour or anything like that so i'm just gonna work with it and plus the the lace on the wig it kind of matched my skin tone so i was fine with anything that was gonna happen like i would i was prepared for it anyway back to this lace glue girl this lace glue work wonders like i could shower in the glue the wig won't lift up i can't wait to try it like in a pool because i need a vacation but now i'm just doing double layers and you see where that part is where the ball cap started rising up just because oil touched my skin and i've been cleaning it cleaning it cleaning it, and it's not working i put like five layers of glue but y'all gonna see that just continue watching the video this video right down here make sure you like make sure you comment and make sure you subscribe subscribe okay see you guys later